In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some easy but interesting videos using Insta360's application on your phone. As for the camera, I'm using the X5, but this works for any of their 360 cameras. When you buy an Insta360 camera, you may think your videos are going to look like this. But in reality, it's probably more like this. <laughs> Luckily, the Insta360 app comes with some preset templates that you can use to make some pretty interesting videos, sort of like this one. So I like these templates because it lets you create something unusual or different, but it's not really that difficult. So let's go outside and I'll show you how I set up this shot and then we'll come back in and walk through the app and show you how I make the video itself. Okay, here we are outside. And as you can see, I've got my little studio set up. I got the camera in the middle and the stations around it. So let's take a look at that space. Okay, I start with the camera right here. It's kind of about face level. No science involved here. Uh, first station is just the bird feeder. Next station is a kettlebell. Third station is a bird feeder or a bird bath, a hat switch. Then we have an umbrella and a weightlifting plate. Now the trick is to make sure you spend, we'll say 10 to 15 seconds at each station preferably on the higher end of that range because it takes a little time for the camera to be able or the computer to be able to lock in on you. So let's just say 15 seconds just to be safe. Uh, the other thing you got to keep in mind is the proximity of the stations. You don't want to be too close to each other because again the camera has a hard time differentiating. So if I'm going to do the kettlebell swing from here, I don't want to do the bird bath from this side because I'll be too close to the kettlebell swing and it won't catch it. So come over on this side, and now I've got more space between where I am here and where I was with the kettlebell. So then you just pick which station you want to start at, start the, the camera, do your circuit, 15 seconds at each place, and then when you're done, you turn the camera off, take everything inside, and let the computer do the rest of the work. Uh, it's pretty fun and it's really easy. Uh, you can be creative, you can make your stations be anything you want, really. I just pick these things at random. You could make something more organized, I don't know. But the point is, it's not hard to do. So let's go see what the computer can come up with. Okay, let's uh, use our video that we just took. Let's open up Insta360. And all the templates are under the Edit button, so we'll click here. And the one I'm interested in is under Shot Lab. And here's all the preset templates you can pick from. I'm going to go to the clones, which is, I'll go through these filters here and press clone. And these are all their the clone choices. You've got a clone trail, a shadow clone, and a clone loop. I chose shadow clone. And here are some steps that they also provide uh, to create one of these. I'm going to use this theme. Then it wants me to pick the video that I took right there. Hit next. Now it wants you to long press on a human target to start tracking. There's yours truly. I'm going to scroll a little bit to where I wanted to start. I'm going to hold long press. And now all this uh, processing is going to do is track myself at the different stations through the loop. And when we're done, we should have something we can use. But this takes a while, so let's come back to it a little later. Okay, so it finally finished the pass. And you can see right here it says five clone positions recognized. Now this is a little fussy sometimes, so it basically means that it found five of the stations, but the last one with the plate, for some reason, it couldn't focus in on it. But that's okay. Five clones is good enough. So you just hit generate shadow clone. And this takes a while, so we'll come back when it's done. Where are we on this? 38%. Man, this is taking a while. Okay, once the... the analysis is finished it gives you the final result and you can see how it goes through all the various stations 
and you get to the hat, then you get the umbrella, but the last station with the weightlifting plate, just for whatever reason, it wouldn't recognize it. Maybe there's some overlap going on there, I don't know, but five out of six ain't bad. So at this point, I'm going to hit this button here. I'm gonna export it to my photo album. Export to phone, and there it goes. Okay, now that it's on my phone, I can upload it to Facebook or YouTube, or I can incorporate it into the video I'm working on right now. So in the end, it's a pretty fun process. Sometimes it can take a little while to get the uh, tracking just right, but in the end, you get something that's fun and you can play around with and share with your friends and whatnot. So on that note, that's all I have. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.